Oh my. This is real freaking frozen. Good day everyone and welcome to today's video where it's summertime! So today I thought it'd be cool if I test out some really cool summer hacks, see if they work and maybe teach you guys some cool summer DIY slash hacks. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Alright, so our first DIY slash hack is going to be a s'mores popsicle. So basically, I'm just going to be making a s'more and sticking a popsicle stick inside it and then coating it with chocolate. So that's just time. Graham crackers remind me of like middle school and like elementary school for some reason because they feel like... I don't know why. I feel like they were a, a school snack. Okay, we have the gram in half. Let's let's make a s'more in case you guys don't know how to make s'mores, which I'm sure most y'all do. But you just go like that. Okay, so I'm going to put the stick in the marshmallow like so. Place it just like that, and then we will add a piece of chocolate on top to just seal the deal. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave and let it do its thing and melt, and then we'll freeze it. Um, okay, I think I put it in for too long because we have a bit of a situation. Oh no. Well, I guess marshmallows inflate in the microwave, but you know what? We're gonna make this work. There we go. Okay, you know what? It's gonna be covered in chocolate anyway, so we're not gonna see any of this issue. So I'm gonna clean this up and pop it in the fridge, or the freezer I should say, and we'll be back to coat it in chocolate. So I've been melting the chocolate and it melted and then all of a sudden it became hard again even though I was turning the temperature up. Now we got chunky poo poo chocolate chunks. What the heck? I don't understand. How does, how can you overcook chocolate to become a solid? You'd think it would just turn it into an even liquidier liquid. But if you cook it too long, it becomes a poop. Okay, so the chocolate is melted so nice. So apparently, you have to keep it at the right temperature. Look at that, so smoothy, Annie. So um, my popsicle is created, the s'mores pop base. So now I'm just gonna stick it on in there and coat it. Okay, this looks so freaking good. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I just need to refreeze it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on some wax paper and I'm just going to pop this in the freezer again. And then when we come back, I'm going to dulge, dulge, indulge. Be right back. All right, so the s'more is out of the freezer. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks like a realistic popsicle like this could be sold in a box at a grocery store. I mean, maybe not the back side, but this front side looks like a crunch bar or something. So I guess without further ado, let's bite into our s'mores popsicle. Oh. Oh. Crack. Crack my damn tooth off my own eye. Wow. This is so good. Why hasn't anyone done this? Why are there not s'mores popsicles? I mean, maybe there are and I've just never seen it, but normally when you think of s'mores, you think of like hot by a campfire. I never thought of s'mores as a popsicle and it's so delicious. This is seriously so damn good. I could eat this whole thing in 0.2 seconds. It's just one of those things that you question like why aren't these actual things that are sold? That's how good it is. And it's such a common thing. Like everyone has s'mores. Why has no one made a s'more popsicle? I don't Okay, so the next DIY slash hack is going to be um, a gummy bear popsicle. So all we have to do is get some gummy bears. I got red, white, and blue ones and just the regular. And you just pour them in just like that. We're just going to fill it up with some gummy bears. Okay, next we're going to take a Sprite bottle, pour it in as our popsicle liquid. So I'm curious how some of these are going to do with having lots of gummy bears and just having a little bit. So this is kind of like an experiment hack slash DIY. Alrighty, so they are completely filled. 
I'm just gonna pop these in the freezer and let them sit for a couple of hours and we will check back in and see how they come out and how they taste. Okay, so uh, the popsicles are now frozen. It is the next day. And uh, guess who snuck in and already got one? Wolfie. No, it was you. No, it wasn't. Oh, then who, who took it? I only looked. And then what happened to the rest? There's only one gone. I, it wasn't me. <laughs> How was it? Was it good? Yes, it tastes like sweet soda. Sweet, sweet nectar. nectar. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they're all frozen. So let's pop one open and let's see what it looks like. Ready? Uh -oh. oh. 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 Why did that do that? Oh. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is the one with the You got the deal. boring one. Did you take a bite out of that? I think so. You did? I think I nibbled. What the hell? Nibbleitis. Nibble. Oh, I think I took the green uh, gummy. No, this is red, white, and blue. Oh. You are a bad boy. Oh, oh. my gosh. These suck. Oh. What the oh. hell? Oh. Only the ones with a little bit Look of Look at it. the short stack. Short. How dumb. Okay. You know what? Taste test. Mm. Put it in your mouth. Oh. I see what you mean with it. See, it's like gonna fall apart. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you look at the ice, it's like not solid. It's uh, it's almost like it's snow. like frost. Yeah, yeah, it's like snow. Um, oh, the gummies are hard on your teeth. One yeah. of my one of my teeth fell out. <laughs> okay. All right. So good. Not a fan of this one. I feel like the DIY slash hack should have had a different liquid. I don't approve this message. Okay, so up next is a way for you to create your own ice cream at home very quickly. So all you need is a type of milk. I'm using coconut milk, some maple syrup, and some vanilla extract, and a little jar. So let's pour it in. So basically all you have to do is fill up your milk, add some maple syrup for some sweetness, and a dash of vanilla extract for flavor. Screw the cap on, give it a little shake. And then the last part, this part's really important. Get a damp cloth and wrap it around your jar and this will basically make it so your ice cream freezes a lot faster in the freezer. Um, and this can work with a lot of things like soda cans, like if you're trying to cool a soda up fast, you just wrap around a damp cloth and it'll get cooler quicker. Alrighty, so the ice cream is completely frozen over, um, just wet rag, I mean, it still took an entire day for this thing to freeze, so, uh, let's unscrew this bad boy. Oh my, this is real freaking frozen. Go to the damn store. Just go buy, spend two ninety nine. Buy yourself some on a gallon of ice cream. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so the next one is something that I'm actually really excited about, and it's making your own freeze pops from scratch. So all you're gonna need is a lighter, and if you're too young to use a ladder, get a pair to do this, uh, and a knife. And basically, you're going to heat the knife up hot enough so it can solder your plastic bag. So. I've never done this before, so we're gonna try it out together. So, let's light up this knife like nobody else. It's like the thousand degree knife challenge, but to a plastic bag. Okay. Oh, I think that may have done it. I did it, I made my own little pouch. Okay, so. I'm excited. Let's add some liquid. <sighs> okay, so for liquids, you can really put anything you want in here. For me, I'm going to use this blue raspberry snow cone syrup that I got at the store. So I'm just gonna pour this in here and then we will pop it in the freezer and let it freeze. Hopefully there are no holes in here. Oh wow, that's like legit like a freeze pop. Oh no, she's a leaker. The bag broke. That's weird because it's literally not even part of what I was supposed to solder. 
Where's it leaking? One eternity later. So, I've tried 50,000 times to make this work. I literally, I don't even know. I've lost track of how many bags I've gone through to try and uh, they all leak. They all leak. I even put tape around one and it still freaking leaks. So we're done with this hack. I even, like, it got to the point where I put the knife on the stove fireplace over there, which was helpful, but it didn't do it. <sighs> Moving on. Alrighty, so the next hack is to make your own waffle ice cream sandwich. So what you're gonna need is Eggos, or just Eggo waffles. Uh, I got chocolate chip, gluten-free ones, and then I have Ben & Jerry's Cinnabon dairy-free ice cream, uh, and yeah, you can really use any, like, pint of carton type thing, as long as it looks like this. Basically, all you have to do is lean it on its side like this, and then take a serrated knife. If you're a child, don't do this. Have a parent do it. Um, and you just want to go like this, and just carve away a nice, perfect slice of ice cream. Actually, I'm gonna do another cut right here. And then you unravel it like that. And now you have a chunk of ice cream to make the perfect ice cream sandwich. Okay, so these are the two Eggos. You can probably toast them. I'm just gonna pop them in the microwave just to warm them up a little bit. Um, so I'll do that. And then I will add the ice cream and maybe some sprinkles too. All right, so these are warmed up now. You can also do this with a cookie. Um, you know what? This is actually gonna be a lot smaller than the waffle, but you know what? It's still gonna be perfect. So then we'll go like this with our waffle. And oh my gosh, this is a waffle ice cream sandwich. Now, if you wanna take it to the next level and add sprinkles, uh, I would just put sprinkles on a plate and then just take this and just Squeeze the ice cream onto the sprinkles. This looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself and this hack. Okay, let's dig in and see if it's delicious. Oh my god. Mm mm, mm mm mm. I've never had a waffle ice cream sandwich and now I have to have it every time. This is so good. Why hasn't anyone thought of waffles and ice cream together? I feel like this could be sold at like a store or something. What the heck? Mm. While I was eating this, I was like, oh my God, this would be so good with syrup. So I'm gonna use some syrup from an earlier hack. And now let's see how this tastes. Oh my God. This is very unhealthy, but very good. Mm. Up next is a watermelon hack. So this is just a cool way to cut a watermelon and display it that keeps it like protected from like flies or anything like getting on it. Um, and it also just looks really cool. So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna cut your watermelon in half the long way. And um, watermelons are real big. So they're kind of complicated to cut. Oh, this watermelon looks so good. Oh my gosh. Delectable, delicious. Then you put it flat down and now you're just gonna cut it across this way, this way, this way, this way, and then just crisscross applesauce. Do me a favor and get lost. Okay, so you end up with a watermelon that looks like this. It's completely protected from any insects flying in. So you just stick your little fingers in there and you pull out the perfect slice of watermelon. Wow, that's good watermelon. Shucks. <laughs> okay. So now let's move on to the second watermelon half. So up next just requires a watermelon cut like this in fourths. And then all you need is dental floss. And this is really going to make it easy cutting a watermelon, allegedly. Now I've never done this before, but we're about to find out. So let's cut down first and then we'll scoop the rest of it. So, oh, wow, that does cut it very easily. Oh, whoa, that is so crazy. Okay, let's see. Oh, it worked, guys. That was actually probably so much, 
That was so much easier than cutting it with a knife because I feel like with a knife it's so like uh, 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 uh. But with the dental floss, damn. That was cool. Cool. Hack successful. The third watermelon hack is apparently you can make clothing out of a watermelon. So I don't know how this is going to fit my whole body, but we're about to find out now, aren't we? So all you have to do is be a designer and you have to have a good old watermelon. So I'm going to design my dress. So it's gonna look like this, curved upward like this. She's gonna have a skinny torso up here. Oh, what a gorgeous gown this is going to be. I can't wait to try it on. Ta-da! This is the most beautiful dress I have ever worn. It's so beautiful. It fits me like a damn watermelon glove. And I just feel beautiful in this. And who knew you could make a dress out of a watermelon? I sure as hell didn't. So I'm just ready to go out on the town in this and just live my best life. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We found some good hacks and some bad hacks. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on, slap that like button. It really helps out my channel and lets me know you're enjoying my videos. So yeah, that's it for today. I love you all so very much. I'll see you all next time. Good damn. Bye.